Welcome back to Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers. Happy New Year's, everyone. We appreciate you being here with us. Chris McGee, James Worthy, Robert Ori. We got Trudell down the hall. We got Brez working at home. Allie is off this evening. Uh, the Lakers sweep the two games set in San Antonio. They start off 2021, Rob, with a win. I'll just give you one stat that matters. LeBron and AD combined for 60. We know what happens when they do that. They win. They win the game. Yes, they that do. That they did. <laughs> but, you know, the thing about this is, it was, a, it was a complete game. You know, the first half, Kuz was hot. Uh, uh, Schroeder was doing his thing. And that's the thing about this team. Like, they can take over in the first half with other people, but we know who's going to get the rock down the stretch. As you see, LeBron took over down the stretch. AD was crashing the board down the stretch. And, and that's, what you, that's the sign of a team, a complete team. You know, they're still working out some kinks, but they're getting to be a complete team. They, they was, there was a struggle win here tonight, but I'm still happy with the win. Yeah, it's, it's not easy to, to beat a, a team twice in a row. Uh, San Antonio, obviously, we're going to come back with some adjustments. They did a good job of finding their shots. They got some good shots, and then their bench was critical tonight. But I thought the Lakers did a good job collectively down the stretch. I thought Trudeau did a good job defensively. I know we're going to talk about that. I thought Wes Matthews, even though he didn't hit shots, he's very active in the game, making a good assist when they need it. And uh, I thought down the stretch, the, the two kings, King James and... AD, you know, close it out. Yeah, AD with 34. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you brought up Schroeder. Um, with KCP out, uh, Dennis Schroeder stepping up big time down the stretch, Rob. Those final three minutes, the job he did on DeMar. Lots of stuff like that. That's the thing that you, when you get engaged like that, excuse me, when you get engaged like that, it's going to make your teammates rise up and, and appreciate you more because... Back in the day, you know, guards weren't known to play defense like this, you know, but down the stretch is what it counts. He locked up, yeah. he stayed in front, and people got to understand, DeMar DeRozan is one of the most prolific scorers inside the three yeah. that we've seen in a long time. But he was in him, step for step, contesting shots, missed shots, he even shot air ball. And, and then simultaneously, Rob, he hit a big three when they needed. You know, he can do both on both True. ends. He's going to be key as he continues to get used to the tendencies of his teammates. He'll be pretty good. Back to San Antonio, uh, Anthony Davis, star of the game with Mike Trudell. All right, Anthony Davis, uh, it's a tie game late, and then it becomes that half-court possession-by-possession game. You and LeBron end up carrying the team to the win. What's the most key in those situations? Um, getting a shot at the rim. Uh, me, me and Bron pick and roll is very effective. Um, put the defense in the bind, and, you know, he's a great passer where he can make three to, to me, shoot the ball, or... You know, hit a guy on the weak side. You know, me and Dennis got it going early as well, too. So, um, <clears throat> you know, late game, we want to get in pick and roll and, and find out how we can uh, exploit the defense, uh, make them be in rotations that they don't like, and uh, make shots. Man, you had your guard skills working tonight on the perimeter, crossovers, pull-ups, uh, fading threes. Uh, how, how much fun do you have with that part of your game when you can also go inside when you need to? Uh, it was very fun. Um, you know, coach wanted me to be a little bit more active on the perimeter. Um, and especially with, you know, I'm in a game with Trez or Mark, and <clears throat> uh, that's what I try to do. I just try to go out there and just play basketball and, and you know, do everything, you know, that I can do within the system and, you know, go out there and make plays for myself or others. All right, last thing for you. It was two consecutive games against the same team. That's got to be a little tricky. Now you go do the same thing against Memphis. Uh, what did you learn in this context in this uh, unique season? Um, you're never going to, you know, we got a convincing win um, the other night, and we know that, you know, just like a playoff series, you're not going to come in and, and, you know, easily win on the second night. Um, and so this team came out very hot. You know, we let them get very comfortable. Our defense was non-existent in the first half. A little bit better in the second quarter, but for the most part in the first half, it was bad. And um, I think they shot uh, 38 percent from three. Um, obviously, the late game three is trying to get back, um, kind of drop the percentage. But they shot well from the three, and we can't allow teams to just be comfortable at the three-point line. Um, but we did enough to get the win. Like I said, we're still learning each other. We're still trying to figure everything out. Um, and it's always good when you can do that uh, while getting the win. All right, AD, appreciate the time, man. Thank you. Uh, guys, the Lakers went on that 9-0 run, that final two minutes and 34 seconds, of course, capped off by LeBron and AD. Rob, I'll start with you. Uh, AD tonight, 34 points. Um, uh, LeBron, 8 of 22. Anthony Davis, 13 of 26. We talked about his efficiency a little bit in the pregame show. Carried over about this offense. They, they exploit the matchups. Like the one play down the stretch where he hit a three to tie it up when the game was looking a little iffy. You know, it was a design play where he rolled out to, sh to shoot the three. And if you're able to do that as a big, stretch the three, and the next thing you know, I'm going to the hole, laying it up, reverse layup. 
it's hard to stop. And with AD skill set, he's a monster. Yes, that's what I was thinking too, Rob. You know, he's he's starting to find, I don't know whether it's him or the coaching staff, but they're they're starting to find places on the court where where he can see the defense and it's hard to double team him. They start inside, like Rob says, sometimes sometimes they start on the perimeter, he gets the three. Sometimes he starts on the perimeter and they move the ball around a little bit, and then he dives in there, and it's hard to send the double team. So uh, I think they're, they're figuring out some things uh, defensively, how they guard AD, making it easy for him to, to produce. Some interesting numbers for tonight. Uh, the previous low for the Lakers field goal percentage-wise was 47%, so this was their low by far, just 40, but they still got the win. But they continue to shoot the three ball well, 42%. They are second in the NBA at over 41 wow. this year, so that is impressive so far. I know it's only through six games. Uh, uh, but it's, it's nice to have that kind of depth, especially shooting the three. I do want to talk about KCP. Um, hard to the bucket, planted that left foot hard and just kind of rolled over a little bit. Uh, I don't know what the x-rays are. I don't know if they have Mild the Mild sprain, I think they said. But Mild sprain, look. that's good. That's good. So yeah, yeah. this is nothing, you know, nothing but worse the, than that. The thing you recover. hate about it now is I hope they're staying and not flying anywhere tonight. I know. Because that would be the worst yeah. thing for that ankle. So hopefully he can get some treatment and he'll um, be back sooner than later. I know, and now you think about that depth we talked so much about uh, over this past month, getting ready for the season. And then Alex Russo, we still know he's out because of the, the safety protocols. THT is probably going to get more minutes. Yeah. Uh, Rob mentioned this when we were watching the game together. Wes Matthews, uh, you even saw Coos yeah. slide over and place him two immediately when KCP got hurt. So Frank's going to be able to do, yeah. do some different combination, James. That, that's the beauty of this team this year. The additions they made, uh, the style of play that they're going to play. Uh, it seems like guys can step up. Pope goes out. Shooter steps his game up. Coos gets a big offensive rebound. Wes Matthews, nice assist to, to Treads for, uh, you call him Treads? Call him Dreads. Dreads. Yeah, Dreads. Dreads, for, Dreads. For a nice dunk. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it, it's a good problem to have. And, and it seems like coaching staff is, you know, it's early, but they're figuring it out. Yeah, I, I love seeing that attitude by Dennis Schroeder. And I know we've already talked about it, but that ability to lock up players on the other side, especially players that are hot offensively, just to have that mind sway, uh, that ability to flip it is, is nice, that mindset. You know the funny thing about it? If you've watched the last couple of games with him, it's like he almost enjoys it. He wants that challenge. He, he likes to talk a little trash, and he goes up, and he plays the guy tough because when you're that quick and you're that strong where you can, you know, body guys from getting to the hole, stay in front of guys, that's a big key, especially for a guy now he go down the other end, then he lights you up. So in his mind, he's just talking trash, and that's what you want right there, a guy who has that <laughs> swagger, and he goes out there and plays it's, hard on both ends. It's almost as if we hadn't lost Rondo because they are very similar. Similar. Shooters are a younger version, so that's, that's a big plus. I just got to say, Rob was right. We were watching the game. Two minutes and 34 seconds left. Rudy Gay gets a three-point play. I wasn't feeling great. Just didn't think the Lakers' defense was stopping them enough. Spurs never scored another point. So, big shot, Rob. 7-0 in the finals. Make it 8 tonight. Okay, Good work thank on you. that. Good call. And, and Alabama's going to the finals. Yes, they Championship are. game. So, congratulations to you. All right, let's get you to the highlights. Take you out San Antonio.